What up, what up, Wimbush here. And over the past couple of months, a lot of you have been asking me, how do you blend your materials? Because they took it out of Quixel Bridge, right? Like they have the fab store now and they don't have that blend material thing that they used to have in Quixel Bridge. But of course, your boy heard your calls and I kind of figured it out. And so let me show you the hack that I figured out. But before I get started, anybody that sees this tutorial after this and posts their own tutorial copying this one, make sure you give your boy credit. You know exactly who you are. <laughs> but real talk getting started i'm in unreal engine 5.5 right now and so you have to know exactly where you look because they did take the blend material out but they still left it within the file structure so i'm going to go to file explorer and then i'm going to show you exactly where you need to go to grab it so right now with my windows explorer open i'm inside my c drive and i'm going to come right here to program files and then i'm going to look for epic games so right here and then I've said before, I'm using Unreal Engine 5.5. So double click on this. And then you wanna look for engine. And then from here, you wanna to come to plugins. And then we wanna look for bridge. And then we wanna to come to content. It's close, I promise. So I'm gonna double click on content right here where it says MS presets, double click on this folder. And then you might notice if you look at the bottom, you see M underscore MS underscore surface blend material. Now this is gonna be what was previously inside a Quixel bridge. They left it in there. So you just manually have to put it inside of your content folder. So I made a brand new project and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. So again, I'm on my desktop right here. I'm gonna look for my Unreal Engine project. I just called it blend toot right there. And then you wanna to come to where you have your content folder. So again, this is inside my Unreal Engine project file structure. So I'm gonna double click on content and then I'm gonna move this over. And right here, where we have our surface blend that we found before. I'm just gonna make a copy of this and drop it into my project's content folder. So I'm just gonna hold down the control key on my keyboard left click and then drag it over here just to make a copy of it. You don't wanna drag this over because you don't wanna take the original. So make sure you take a copy. You can also copy and paste it, but you might notice inside of Unreal Engine, now we're dropped in down here inside of our content folder. So I'm gonna double click on this and now we have it right here. If I open this up and let me move this over, make this full screen. This is gonna be the material that Quixel previously made for the Quixel bridge but we're gonna make this into an instance so it's easier to use. So I'm gonna right click on my material. I'm gonna come up here to create material instance and left click on this. And now if I double click on it, now it looks exactly how it did before. So if you come over here under your details panel, come right here to where it says blend controls, scroll this down. This is where you're gonna blend everything, but you're manually gonna to have to put all your textures inside of here for your base, your middle and your top layer, in which I'll show you how to do that right now from the fab store. So let me minimize this and get this out of the way for right now. Move this over here. And then I'm gonna come down here in the fab, everybody's favorite store. I'm gonna left click on this. And then up top where we have our search, I'm just gonna look for Quixel. So I'm gonna manually type it in, hit enter. And then right here under publishers, you're gonna left click on this. And this is gonna be how you can find a Quixel library. So I'm gonna left click on this right here and then I'm just gonna use some materials. So I'm gonna to come to materials and textures. Let's just do maybe nature terrain. I'm gonna do the ground. And I'm just gonna pick a random one right here. So just this first one that I see right here, I'm just gonna add a few different materials in here. So I'm gonna take this one right here. Let's do it at high quality. We're gonna add this one to project. And down the lower right hand corner, you can see that it's adding it in there. But as that's adding, let's go to find another one. So maybe we'll do some debris. We'll do this one where it says pine foliage. Same thing. I'm going to add this to project. And then we're going to do one more because you can do up to three. So let's just do something like snow, just something way off the cuff. So this isn't going to be pretty. I'm just showing you how we're just going to build this out. So I'm going to just do this snow one right here. Add this one to project. And now we have three different materials. So I'm going to exit out of fab store. I know everybody loves fab, but we got to go, right? So inside of here, actually, before I start building out this material, let me come in here and I'm just gonna delete the player start and I'm gonna delete the floor because we wanna make a floor that has a lot of polygons on it. So right here where it says selection mode, I'm gonna come down here under modeling and then I'm gonna click on rectangle. And right here with subdivision, we're just gonna make this one 100 by 100. 
because we just want to have something with a lot of polygons in here. And then for the size, we could do like 600 by 600. So 600 for the width and 600 for the depth. And then I'm just going to come inside of my viewport. I'm going to left click. Then I'm going to click on accept. And now we have a ground plane that we could work with. And I'm going to come back up here into my selection mode. And then I'm just going to make sure this is all zeroed out in my location. But if I come up here to where we have lit, I'm just going to left click and look at our wireframe. Now, the reason I did that was now we have a lot of polygons. So this is going to give us more definition within our material. When you start painting it on, the more polygons you have, the better for that. Well, you don't want to go overboard, but it's better than just having like four, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to look for that material again. So we're going to come inside of our content folder, come right here to our surface blend material. And then we're going to double click on this material instance. I'm going to save all first. There we go. So now I'm going to double click on my material instance. And now we're just going to manually start plugging these in. So for my base layer, let's just start with, I guess this one, that's going to be this ground plane right here with the rocks. So I'm going to turn this one on from my albedo. So this is going to be your diffuse map right here. So this first one right here, I'm going to click it. I'm going to take it and just going to drag and drop it into there. And then for, let's say a normal map, I'm going to do this one right here. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not really sure what ARD is, but I'm just going to take this file right here, drop it in there. I think that's where that goes. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's how that goes right there. So that's going to be for our base layer. And then for our middle layer, let's just do the one with the pine needles. So again, I'm going to turn this on, take this one, drop it into my albedo. And then what else do we have? We have our normal map. We could put on our normal map. And then again, for the ARD, I'm just going to drop this yellow one into here like so. There's no ambient occlusion included with this one. So let's move on to the snow one now. So down here, I'm going to take this snow map. Actually, I got to turn this on first. So turn on my albedo. Put this in there. I'm going to put this one in there. I'm going to look for a normal map. Drop that in there. And we should be good to go. So now that we have that all set up, all we have to do is save this out and then we can actually exit this out. And if we come up here to where it says selection mode in the top left hand corner, I'm going to left click on this and we're going to come down here to where it says mesh paint or it's going to be shift four if you want to use the shortcut. So I'm going to left click on this and then right here, we're going to be under vertex color. You want to click on this paintbrush and right here where it says color painting. You want to look for your color paint and instead of white, you want to hit this button right here. That's going to swap the colors to black. So now black is going to paint it on and white's going to be your eraser color in which if I come down here, let me actually, I got to put our material on there now. So I'm going to get to the surface blend, this material instance that we just made. I'm going to left click, drop it onto there. And once you do, you can start seeing that we have our vertex paintbrush right here. It has this green circle with all these vertex dots in there. And those vertexes are actually on top of the polygons. So what we want to do is for our channel, we just want to do one channel at a time. So we're going to start with our red channel. And if I just left click, now you can see that we're painting on the pine needles. If I turn on the green, this is going to paint on the snow. And then if I turn it off and I put on blue, this is actually going to do mud puddles in which I didn't turn that on. So I'm going to double click back down here onto material instance. And right here under global at the bottom, you want to click these on right here. Actually, you want to do it for all of them. So I'm just going to do base, middle and top layer adjustments. Turn all of these on. There we go. And I'm going to click on save. And now you can see that it's starting to paint like this liquid water over top of our material there. Which I mean, that's just basically how you set it up. Now, if you go back into your surface blend, and then this is always hard to show with the viewport and the material instance open at the same time. So let me try it this way. But if you come over here to where we have our blend materials controls, so zero one, let me turn both of these on for a top layer blend and a middle base. So right here where we have fall off, you'll notice if I start going into negative, now we have the snow layer starting to fall off onto there. And then the blend amount should blend it but i noticed that i don't know for some reason the blend amount isn't working so somebody out there let me know what i'm doing wrong 
but that used to work but you can still do the fall off so if i go into negative on the fall off you can see that's starting to go in there same thing with the middle layer here i could do negative on the fall off on there as well so you have these attributes that you could play around with you could invert blend you could do contrast but for some reason the contrast and the blend amount again i'm not sure what i'm doing but they're not working here so anybody out there that happens to know this a little bit better than i do just let me know how we can set that up and get that going but same thing down here for the puddle layer you have all these attributes that you can mess around with as well but the main thing that i wanted to show was how to get this set up because a lot of people are saying since quixel bridge had actually decimated that plugin they weren't sure how to do it so hopefully this helps everybody out i know this is a bit of a hack but this is the only way that i figured out how we're able to get this material blend that quixel originally made the work inside of unreal engine but once again my name is winbush for anybody that's new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i catch you in the next video i see you soon take care don't copy this tutorial Hehehe <laughs>